Hey there internet, so today I'm going to be doing a live unboxing of a new attachment for the DJI Air. This will allow me to shoot with my uh, drone with a 360 camera, be able to film in all directions, be able to capture the scene in a more authentic way. Um, before I open that though, I got another package from a friend of mine from back home in Connecticut. I believe this is his uh, new album for his band. Let's take a look here. If you're interested to mail me for these uh, videos, you can reach me right there, 1508 Parker Street. Feel free to send me packages. I love to receive them all the time. So this one, Pat Stone and the Dirty Boots. I remember my friend telling me about the cover art for this a couple months ago, and here it is. It's a guy pulling a horse. There's the horse, just not wanting to go. Pat Stone and the Dirty Boots. Check them out, Long Way Home. It's their new album. Um, very excited to listen to this. Nick, thank you so much for sending it. If you're interested to see more videos of Nick Canato, search him on my YouTube. I got tons of videos. Now on to our main attraction. This comes all the way from Israel, my good friend there. Um, I'm going to link in the description below to their company where you can pick up this amazing attachment. It is 3D printed. Um, yeah, a little tricky box to open, but here we go. Yeah, so I'm super excited to be working with this company again. They've sent me other attachments for my standard Mavic. This is for the Air, and you can see here already I got some legs, so I can extend the legs for it. And I have an attachment here with some uh, cord. He said he was going to send me something so I can use it for fishing to, or can attach a hook to it? Something like that. Um, amazing, amazing company. Let me open this up. Look at this. Yeah, so you may have seen this on Casey Neistat's vlog. He used it when he went uh, fishing. So it's got like a little hook attachment there. You, you do a thing on your drone and all of a sudden it drops a thing. You pick stuff up. So he sent me this in addition to my, my regular 360 stuff. All this stuff amazingly 3D printed. Here are the attachments. So you made this one specifically for the Kodaks. Kodak Pix Pro camera. So you can see here, this is the shell for it. I can attach the camera on the inside. Give you a quick demonstration. I happen to have the cameras just sitting right here on my shelf. Today also is my last day of teaching this semester, so it's been very, very busy. But you can see you can attach the camera in right like that. Fits perfectly in, and you have a screw, you screw it in there. All of a sudden, you got two of them up and down, and you got an amazing shot. So um, we can see what this is kind of like assembled, although it might take a little bit of work and time. As you can see, there are a lot of pieces uh, that go in tandem with this. I might just have time right now to install the legs because there is a very important basketball game that will be turning on very soon and I need to check that out. Of course I'm talking about the Warriors. You can see I'm wearing Warriors colors right now. Alright, so we open up our drone here. Take off this. All right. So we're in business now. Let's get out our legs. Now you want to be very careful whenever you're working with 3D printed parts the first time. You can see most all of these are identical, sort of. They're a little bit different. These two are the same, and these two are the same. So you find your matching pairs, and now we're going to try and attach them. This is typically how it would fold out like that. Maybe it attaches somewhere in the middle. I might need to ask about this. Looks like it fits perfect there right in the middle. It seems like that's that's gonna be the beauty spot right there. I assume this is correct. 
don't quote me because I've never done this one yet. It seems like it's right. Maybe further outward though. I have no idea. No, this can't be right. Okay, here's how it works. So these ones right here have a piece in the front there. So you're supposed to attach it like this. And then it's going to clamp right into that area there. That's how you do it. Super intuitive design. As you can see, I'm not using any instructions. I'm just doing it. And it's just kind of popping into place like Legos. And this is exactly what you'd like to see out of any sort of 3D printing. This one aligns perfect with that leg. <coughs> it's using this as uh, structure su support. Cool. And they're kind of curved in a way, which is really neat. It's going to land and absorb, absorb it. Yeah, that seems pretty dang strong. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. And this also is uh, you know, something you can have take off on its own. And so the idea being, I need to get out the other piece to attach this. But essentially you're gonna have one on top here and one below. And then this thing's gonna be able to fly around and do amazing 360 shots. Um, it already has proven itself. If you look on my YouTube video, this thing has done amazing shots with these. But the current method I was using was I Velcroed it. I'm the first person to do this, just Velcroing it on there. And it worked. It flew around. It was a lot of fun. But it was not something I can really apply and use um, for companies or really use safely. Now with this attachment that's going to girdle around it like a corset, it will be nice and safe to fly around. Um, super excited to test this out further. You can find all the videos I shoot with it on my YouTube. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple days because I'm very, very excited about this to be, finally be able to play with it with the 360 camera. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, again, link in the description below if you'd like to pick up this amazing product. Um, and you're doing amazing uh, work and service. This 3D printing, each time I look at this, it gets better and better. So very, very excited to be um, a tester of this and be promoting it. And thank you again. Remember, you can find out more on uh, my YouTube. You can find out additional things on Twitter if you tweet me at Coons Films. Also at Instagram, Kevin Coons. Yeah, that's about it. Have a great day. Go Warriors. And um, I'll be linking in the description where you can find this product if you're interested to pick it up. Highly recommend you do because this is currently the cheapest, most affordable way to capture amazing 360 video and be able to stitch out the drone. This drone costs around $700. I'll link this in the Amazon. So you find this on Amazon. You find this uh, on the other site underneath. Huge. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.